I just want to say that Jade Oshibaru is that big. <laughs> she's that girl. She's the girl that she thinks she is. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you. Hi, hi, hi. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, That Backyard Girl. Yeah, I've been MIA for like a month. I was brand building on Twitter. <laughs> but yeah, I, I took out some time to try to grow my Twitter. <laughs> if you call it growing, it's not like I got like a million followers, or even thousands. It's more just like a hundred. But I was watching a lot like life was going on i was distracting myself with a lot of big brother and i was obviously continuously tweeting but majorly i have been busy with work and yeah so today we'll be talking about the new movie by jade sola Ushiberu. i hope i pronounced her name very well but yeah we'll be talking about her new movie on amazon prime and drum roll please <laughs> But gangs of Lagos, gangs of Lagos. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're talking about gangs of Lagos. Fun fact about this movie: if you've seen um, Brotherhood, guess what? It was shot before Brotherhood. Yep, because there were a bunch of actors that we saw on there, and the way they look now, and timelines. That's why we <laughs> like they look totally different. So it was clear that this was pretty much shot before Brotherhood. For example, one of the actors was buff in Brotherhood, and this one looked a little bit slimmer. I guess he was building his weights by then. So let's just dive right into the movie Gangs of Lagos by Chadi Sala Ushibe. According to Variety magazine, they gave like a very serious <laughs> or very theatrical. The word may not be theatrical, theatrical, oh, that's weird. Um, maybe very literal, yeah, I forget the word, but here's what they said Gangs of Lagos is about. Gangs of Lagos is a tale of brotherhood and betrayal, of competing loyalties and bloody retribution in a place where gangs backed by powerful political bosses rule the streets. Unfolding amid the design, hustle, and clamor of Saleko, a neighborhood rife with poverty and crime, it offers a portrait of lives lived on the margins of a city whose promises of fast fortune remain for most out of reach. Long story short, best friends Obalola, Ifi, and Gift were born and raised in Saleko where politically affiliated gangs ruled the streets. When rival gangs paint the streets red with blood, Ifi, Obalola and Gates get caught up in gang wars, which leads to the uncovering of secrets that shake the very foundation of the Sadeko and ultimately bring them to the realization of their destinies. Yeah, the movie was, um, the movie was obviously directed by the wonderful Jade Sola Oshiberu. <laughs> yeah. And it was written by Jade herself and K. I. Jagade. P. wrote Lara at the beat. I don't know if you know about the movie. It, I, I, I honestly can't even remember the plot, but I know that it had She She on there. And I, I, I sort of enjoyed it. And it was produced by Jade Sola herself, Jade Shibero, and Lala Akin Doju. It, um, according to my research and questions asked by people, uh, uh, questions are asked people, it was said that the movie was shot, I think, probably after the lockdown in 2020 or 2021. But yeah, mostly in 2021. And it was. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, was shot before Brotherhood, which is really good because Brotherhood came out first. But I'm thinking that because Brotherhood was supposed to be a blockbuster movie, and obviously this was part of her contract with um, Amazon Prime, I'm guessing she wants to clear out all her blockbuster movies before she goes right into her con career contract with Amazon Prime. It's like a really beautiful story about this. I know I, um, um, someone said she had a, an interview with him on. Um, I said what I said podcast about getting funding 
spending a lot of money before trying to get like um, um, Amazon to buy the rights to the movie. It's like a really hustle and bustle story. But I just want to say that Jade Ushibaru is that big. <laughs> she's that girl. She's the girl that she thinks she is because she's she's one of the most amazing creative minds we have in Nigeria and dare I say Africa. What I like. Well, let's just get right into the cast. And um, in Gangs of Lagos, we had Toby Bakary, of course. I, I, I think he has some kind of partnership with Jade because obviously with Gangs of Lagos here, Brotherhood is there. Sugar Rush, he was also there and that's a Jade movie as well. So Sugar Rush, obviously his character wasn't like lead roles, but he was also a significant part. But with Brotherhood, you know that yeah, he took a much more um, visible part in the movie. So Toby Bakare acted as Obalola, Adesua, Itomi Wellington as Gift. Adesua's character was totally different from the normal Adesua we know. Adesua, Adesua the goody two shoes sister. She was like really fierce here. Yeah. And we also had Chike Osebuka, the and um, the bull of the bullless. Our our um what's the word? I, sh I forget what we call him. Yeah, our a community boyfriend <laughs> yeah chike osebuka was ifa in the movie we had choma chukuka she was mama ifa i keep saying ish oh big brother has, has gotten to me with south african and their exclamations choma you know when you have um veterans in movies and you're like why exactly like you can't see their impact why are they in the movie and all of this but choma's impact in the movie was felt you could see the level of um, experience when you see her compared to Toby, Adesua, like the other people that have th that. Well, we can't put Toby and Adesua on the same level because Adesua has been there longer. But when you see the other people, then you see her. You see that you see that she's been there for a very long time. You can see the difference in her delivery of her character. Shoma's character was very outstanding. She delivered it. It was top tier, please. Let's just move on. Then we also had Olaro Timi Fakule as Kazim. We had Tony Brown. She was a politician in anyway. I would get right into because <laughs> she got some drags for this character that she played, and rightly so. She deserves that drag, but we'll, we'll talk about it later. Then we also had Bimbo Ademoye as Teddy. This is also new. I know I've seen Teddy act. As a tiny. <laughs> I know I've seen Bimbo. Most of Bimbo's character are like the street bay, the ah, you know, like the Ras chick and all of that. I know I've seen um Bimbo be a posh babe, but I know I've seen one or two movies with her, but when you think of um Bimbo, you think of oh she's supposed to be the street girl breaking bottles and giving us all her slants and all this. But this is different. She tennis character was totally different. She was the rich girl very um bougie i will tell you what i think of a character after not now let's move then we also had yabo ojo as oba's mom then we had zlatan zlatan was in the movie we had debo mr macaroni he was there as well Mimo. we had yemoli he was muri toronto and we also had pasuma London, he acted as London. They had Taya Faniro from Big Brother, also he acted as Nino. Then we had Dami Lola, um, Ubunsi. we had um, Labad Moss. We had, we had a couple of cool people in the movie. So I wanted to say that one thing I like about Chadi Sugar, okay, so in the Nigerian movie scenes, no, in the Nigerian movie market, is it's been noted or we know that most of these producers are uh, movie funders obviously want very well-known faces because obviously once they have a lot of large followings at least their followers will want to um, patronize and watch their movies and enjoy just because they're fans and all of that but um so they, they tend to pack so many faces whether you're skilled you're not skilled they will put you inside there and give you one very insignificant character a character that will probably not be noticed if it is not in that movie but i've noticed with um jade 
she tends to give us well-known faces obviously sometimes not even yeah even with um kinds of lagos you will notice that um she gave us our instagram celebrities obviously macroni is a theater kid so obviously yeah he would do good but he's also like a celeb and influencer also yamoli i don't even know what to study but he's also funny on instagram Ooh, I, I i remember this guy you know that um if i hold you in my hand your blood is gonna try that guy i can't remember what his name is but he was in the movie and terrible that was his name <laughs> and he did good too so um, all this rambling is um, the point i'm trying to make is that she gives us these known faces but she makes their characters significant so it's it's a case of um i don't want to name that other studio that does it badly but what she does is that she gives gives us these known faces like i said their characters if, if you she makes it in such a way that when you take out these characters from this movie you would notice their impact or you will notice that they are not that there's something missing so that's one thing i would like to give her kudos like you give us faces we know but the, everybody's character is significant as well well it's very 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 important um so let's get right into let's talk about the performances um like i said we a lot of well-known faces performances or characters or actors that stood out for me chioma chukuka there was a particular scene where i'm sorry spoiler i will try not to say too much there's a particular scene it, it's a funeral someone died someone very close to her died and she was very hurt because this is not the first time she's losing someone very close to her so the whole scene like you could feel the hurt like i cried i cried when the person died i also cried when she was speaking because you could she communicated the hurt like i could feel it i also enjoyed toby bakari's character of Alola. he did good obviously i wouldn't say it's as great as what he did in brotherhood but obviously this was before brotherhood so he learned from that and did better in brotherhood there was also the whole voiceover thing which he did which was I wouldn't say it was great. I honestly I'm quite indifferent about it. It wasn't bad, it wasn't great, but it was just there. It was good. Another person I would like to talk about, like I said at the beginning, Adesua was not your normal Adesua. Adesua was a street babe breaking bottles, speaking in Ruba and five singing. And I'm like, nice. This is different. Because this is not your normal Adesua. <laughs> yeah. She delivered obviously we can't connect i can i couldn't connect fully to it but she did her best she did really good another person that i think that really really did well was olaro timi Fakule, that's cousin's character that man is amazing <laughs> you know when you watch a movie and you know it's a movie but you just begin to hate a particular character You're like what's up <laughs> like you you know you, you, when, when you begin to hate that person if you, you just know that that person delivered to the point where you can't even differentiate between you can't even differentiate between make-believe and real life anymore so what did i like so it's one thing to use a popular face it's one thing to yeah then it's another thing to make sure they're able to deliver the characters that they're trying to portray that's one thing I like. Another thing, um, oh, like I said, it was very interesting to see Adesua try out something else. Yeah, very interesting because then I think Adesua has been typecasted. Even when she was in Sugar Rush and, Sugar Rush and she was supposed to have stolen money, <laughs> she was still the good sister, honestly. I think, yeah, it was very, very interesting. That's one thing I really liked. I liked seeing Adesua different, doing something totally different. Um, they had a lot of child actors so character development obviously they showed us background they showed us the olden days they showed us um yeah i loved the character development so obalala's younger ones um yeah the child actors you know when you watch all the jimbra films and you're like what's going on guys Ish, what is this thing that you put <laughs> yeah the children actually did really good there's a particular scene where they had to jump into um, I don't know what that is. 
leak something. But the whole conversation, the whole dialogue that happened before that goes to show that those children actually know um, they know what's up. <laughs> and I also liked that the younger Obalola, younger gifts, younger if I actually looks like the older ones, which was really good. I think that that makes a lot of sense. So, so all those tiny, very, very tiny details. I, I really appreciate those very tiny details that they she actually or the whole team or cast sorry the whole crew actually thought through like the casting director whoever that person is I'm thinking that's also Jadi because it's Nigeria everybody does a lot of things but there was a lot of thought process that went into that but there was one particular young and old that bossy <laughs> I'll talk about that in what I did not like. I liked that the story was not trying so hard to be very modern. I liked that it was a very original. Yeah. When I say, okay, so the word is original, not new, because people have also tried to tell the streets gang story. So it's not like it's a new story. It's not like it was taken from, it was created from a, a different angle. It was just well delivered. I like that it was an original Nigerian story. They weren't trying to sell any kind of falsehood it was people from people from the hood in nigeria can easily relate to what was going on in the movie like you know you know i also think that i loved <laughs> i love that they actually used the actual location the first scene we saw you could tell that this was lagos island like anybody that goes to Lagos Island Market, you could just easily tell that it was it. So, Isaleko was used. It's not like those, um, our, um, <laughs> Ikoi Nollywood or Leki Nollywood where they're trying to tell a street story and like, then they will now probably try to create like the wood or, um, inside the Zanga, but you know that that is just one dead ass street that they just try to use. So, I, I appreciate the fact that they actually went into Saleko to make that movie um, top tier cinematography was very very pleasing to watch Ah, you could just know that there was a lot of funding that went into this movie <laughs> a lot of funding did and it was, it was well done well done um, I liked that the plot connected to recent happenings in Nigeria it had um, political thuggery had um, vote buying, it had corruption. I think that this movie came at the right time after our Nigerian election and yeah, broad daylight fever. So it came at the right time, perfect time, exactly, because it, it, it actually showed how the whole political ecosystem in Nigeria and Lagos works. And it was very, very interesting to see that Tori Abrahams. Remember when I said that they, they were dragging her? So this is why. So it was very interesting to see that Tony Abraham's character was, she was a politician that was trying to overthrow, 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 that's the word, overthrow a sitting political party because they've been there for over 21 years. And I'm like, hey, hello ma'am, why are you was? I'm not gonna call any party, but shh. In recent times, since you've been supporting these people and saying, Oh, this person is this, that person has to be there, they are this, that, that. But you made a movie in 2021 saying, It's not, <laughs> it's very confusing. And if I wanted to be petty, like some people that have been tagging her would have tagged her and asked her, I know that it's make believe, acting is not real and all, but. Do you have a conscience? <laughs> Do you have a conscience? But that's by the way, they dragged her. I think they're still dragging her. She's been quiet. Of course, she has to be quiet because this movie has to be sold. This movie has to be a success because it's not her movie. <laughs> so um I loved the fight scenes. There were a lot of fight scenes and the fight scenes, the effects, the blood. It was quite realistic it felt very real Oof, there was a part of butcher's place where you had human beings upside down Oof, or the part where they slice somebody's <laughs> intestine i'm like what's going on Phew. 
it's so this intestine. Some the person I was watching the movie with was like, yeah, well, it's a very sharp blade. You see the intestine falling on the floor like that. There is. Sorry, I'm cussing. But yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed, I enjoyed, I enjoyed perfect execution of the fight scenes. I would always say that a like, lot of fight scenes. I, I think one thing I had a problem with was um this was character brought the shotgun to a knife fight. I'm like, I think you do fushu fushu, somebody has already sliced you. But yeah, the oversight. Um so let's get right into my dislikes and maybe if I remember something I actually liked we could talk about that. Okay, so um one thing I I think I had a problem with was it was like I always say slow paced. I feel like that should be my buzzword now. It felt very slow paced in the sense that at the beginning it was dragging, it was very very slow. I want the story started off very very slow. Like you had to be patient and you had to actually be patient to um to follow the story, it started very, very slow paced. But I feel like what really attracted me was the production quality or the like say cinematography. It just really, it's just a very beautiful, clear picture. That I think I'm going to be patient enough to just watch this honestly. When I because I watched this twice, first time I watched it, um, I didn't, I didn't even fast forward anything. Like, I actually sat down and tried to enjoy the movie. Um, and something I think I had a problem with was so there's um the movie had a lot of Yoruba speaking in it. Like they 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 yeah. A lot of people were speaking Yoruba, even she came and the sweetheart so was speaking Yoruba. But obviously you know he's evil, so it's not expected that. I love Tyre Fan Euro's acting. I feel like I forgot to say that, but I, it's not just him. I feel I, I think that the Yoruba wasn't just flowing very well in my ear. I'm not Yoruba, but I've watched Yoruba movies. I've heard people speak Yoruba, and it wasn't just flowing very well in my ear. I think that's a me problem. I don't know. It, it just something was just not right with the way the Yoruba was. It obviously, it was like it was clear that these people are Jabotas that are speaking this Yoruba. <laughs> but yeah, they they actually did. Um, I think I noticed. There was a costume malfunction. I don't want to explain the scene, so I don't spoil it for you. But there was a scene where she was in the um, and this was character was in the car. She had something on. They get to the port. She had a different thing. When they were leaving the port, she had the same thing she started off with. I'm like, that's a continuity problem. That maybe unless I just mixed up the story, but something was just not right with that. Um. I, I would have loved to see understand some people's characters for example gift question is who is gift to these boys is gift just a friend that lives in the neighborhood or is she ifai's sister i don't know who gift is I, like i don't know her background they try to develop a fine story try to de develop um, a balala story but i honestly don't know anything about gift's um background to, I, I guess this is why some people think that this would have been a this would have been better as a series than just a one-off movie. I'm sure there's going to be a sequel. They like sequels in Nigeria. Um another thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that you know at the beginning I had said that um two two people that I feel like they switched each other's roles. <laughs> so it was Bimbo Ademoye's role and um and Adesua's role. So this why I was acting as a street babe and um, Bimbo was acting as a bougie, posh, rich babe and I found it, yeah, Bimbo is an amazing actor, I love her, love, love her, but I found it very hard to connect to her character, I don't know, something was just off for me, she delivered well, it was just, I think it's a me thing, and maybe my friend died there. <laughs> But I wasn't just connecting with that her character and how she was portraying it. It's, if you compare the things I liked and the things I did not like, it really doesn't matter. All in all, I think that um, Gangs of Lagos was an amazing movie. It is an amazing movie. And if you haven't seen it, please, if you don't have a Prime subscription, you can do the seven days free rather than using all those hack websites. So, what happened? 
so go to prime video and actually watch it i think that you are going to enjoy it if you are someone who likes jade sola shibaru's jade shibaru's movies i feel like she's good like i said with the trade i think that she's going with the theme now and the theme is thriller movies crime fighting and all of that i think that's it that's it Thing she's working with, and I'm good with it because she delivers. Even with Sugar Rush, you know that there's some kind of trailer I need to. So, you should see this movie. You should actually go and watch it on Prime. Everybody should see it because it's an amazing movie. And yeah, that's what I think. I think I'm going to give the movie an 8 over 10 get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. because it was a good movie according to my parents. <laughs> but it was a good movie. I feel like she has set the bar. If you're coming now you have to come correct <laughs> like there's no two ways about it like you just have to come correct because she has set the bar and i'm looking forward to any other movie that comes after this from her because she's that babe jade is that babe she is that babe that babe that some people think they are in this movie production and movie directing scene she's that babe um so yeah this is the end of my review please go see it and when you if you've seen it please comment down there and tell me how, what you think about um the movie or what you thought of my reviews if you have something else to say if, if there's anything i missed in my review please share your thoughts comment like subscribe share with your friends and let's grow this page together thank you guys i still remain that cat girl don't forget to subscribe 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 Thank you. Mwah.